Welcome back, I am Dr. Ruckus, and today we're playing a surprisingly resilient deck against the meta, which is blue-white control. Kind of shocking to say that, I mean, blue-white control has been pretty meh for a while, but the way this deck is configured, it just lines up well against all the things you need to line up well against. So, first off, the Steel Seraph is an overperformer in general, I think this card is going to boost the win rate of most decks it goes in, it just answers everything so cleanly. Against Mono Red, it has 3 toughness, so it only dies to Lightning Strike as opposed to play with Fire. If they cannot answer it, you now have Lifelink every turn, which is massive in the Mono Red race. Against Mono Black, it has a 3-3 body, so it survives Cutdown, and against Go for the Throat, it's an Artifact. So so it doesn't die to mono black and then against anyone playing white control you give it vigilance and then it doesn't die to wandering emperor so just mono red mono black and emperor having resiliency against all those things is huge by itself then we pair it with a lot of two drops here like the ambitious farmhand spirit of companion one these things clog up the ground against mono red so you can block some things early giving you time to stabilize and two if you decide not to block or it's not a aggro opponent you have to blunt the assault against you can blink it with guardian of Girapur. three mana three three flyer provides an extra body on the battlefield just be able to blink blink these to get extra value actually does add up to quite a lot over the course of the game Additionally, the Guardian can be used to blink the Steel Seraph to bring it back in as its 6-mana 5-4 version, uh, which is basically just good game against Mono Red. You then are swinging with a 5-mana Lifelinker every turn that's really hard to race. And the other thing about having so many 3-mana three 3-3 three, three Flyers is that it means you can attack down Invasion of New Phyrexia extremely easily. When turn 5 you play this out for X equals 3, you get uh, 6 power and toughness worth of bodies, right? 3 2, two white, blue, and knight creature tokens with vigilance. Uh, the battle comes down with 6 loyalty or defense points, whatever. And then if you have a pair of 3-3 three, three flyers, you can attack it down the very same turn and flip it into Teferi. And the Teferi itself plays very well in this deck, right? It's weird to have a Planeswalker in a control deck that benefits from you having lots of creatures to discard, but in fact, this deck is very well positioned to do that. If you plus draw two cards and you want to discard a creature card, you have plenty of creatures to discard, including ones you don't even necessarily want in the late game, like Ambitious Farmhand or maybe a Companion. So it pairs really well with this deck in that sense. Of course, you get minus two to get the Knight's Emblem if you want, although you're likely not going to do that. And you certainly have lots of creatures around to minus three and shuffle one of your opponent's cards away. So all that is extremely synergistic and then even in the one drop slot, uh, we get to run Elspeth Smite, which I think is a huge upgrade to any, certainly any non mono white control decks. Uh, we'll still have to see if this beats out Lay Down Arms in mono white, because that's just such a versatile spell. But certainly here, we don't really have anything better in the one drop slot. One mana, instant, three damage target attacking or blocking creature. Totally acceptable. Uh, great against mono red. Great against a lot of things. Saves your creature too because it's done before the damage goes through, right? You do it once they declare the blocks. And then running one, service salvation. Totally happy with this card today. Never a dead card. Like worst case scenario, you know, your opponent tries to use target or removal and you give everything hexproof and it fizzles. And then best case scenario, obviously, you know, maybe you prevent mono red early or you, you know, best case scenario is you counter um, mono blacks and folk despair, which tries to target you and you get hexproof yourself. So everything was just super solid today, really flowed well, very synergistic between the creatures and the blinks and the invasion of new Phyrexia. Of course, the emperor is just a great removal spell and extra token generator. And of course, wedding announcement pumps everyone up, including the all the night tokens. So yeah, seamless deck, pairs well against the meta, super happy with it, so give it a try and let me know what you think. Enjoy the gameplay, let's dive right in. On the play, yeah, let's keep this, we got the companion to try to hit land on time. I guess if they are mono red, we'll, now nah, we want to hit our two drop on time. Alright, slow land first. They're not mono red, they're Boros so far. Play you out, I think just draw here. Okay. Hopefully turn three, we could nab a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Harvester, sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're set up to just hang out here. We could attack and burn the Elspeth Smite, which is probably what we want to do anyway. So, yeah, that's fine with me. Nothing to blink it anyway. We telegraph something weird is going on here, but I think just eat it. I don't think it really changes what they're going to do this turn. Down to 18. Companion go in the distance. All right, let's see if we can nab a Fable here. I would like that. Oh, Nixilis. Yeah. I mean, they get to copy you, but I think I still take this. All right, one of them goes down. Copy is a 3-3. Decline. Up to 4. I think we just fate absence this thing. Set up for a bigger invasion on a subsequent turn. 
All right, you go down. Play out our fast land and yeah, chip away for one. You don't see Obnixless a whole lot these days. Uh, this was a very spooky card when it first came out. I feel like, I don't know, it just seems to generate a lot of value. Cool, so we can offer the tray here to Elsa Smite. And uh, if they don't do it, we can invasion or we can invasion regardless. But we'll see if we can get them to do anything here. Okay. I think we just X equals three here. And I don't really want to trade off a knight for this thing, but we get to attack down to fairy. Maybe it's not that bad. Okay, kind of a weird game so far. Nobody's doing a whole lot yet. They have Obnixless and they are Mardu, so they could play the Mardu Angel. Yeah, so here's the question. Do we trade with this thing? They almost certainly have removal, so it's very unlikely we could pick this thing off. But if we do, it's pretty big upside. Then we let this thing go and try to Elspeth smite it next turn. I know we give them lots of treasure, but I think realistically they play the Angel after combat. And, um... Just wedding announcement. Okay, another blocker. Cool. So we cannot um, we cannot pick off the invasion this turn, but overall not in a bad place. Let's send you guys here. They're almost certainly gonna block one. You can go face, and we'll play farmhand wedding announcement and hold the smite. Pick off you, that's fine. Okay. So we'll play you first, hit our land. Take action. Nab the planes. And wedding announcement, hold white for the Elspeth Smite on the 2-2. Take the draw. Blink is nice, can blink the companion every turn. They flip their fable. Bank Buster. No attacks. They want to keep their 2-2 back. So we actually want to keep some of these guys around a block. But we can always blow some things out with the smite anyway. So maybe we send everything in, smite the things we really want to kill. Yeah, this seems this seems decent to me. Opponent probably thinking we have a wandering emperor, flash into plus, give plus one first strike. Crew the bank buster. Let's see who, who we can kill off this. We want to keep the companion around if we can. Okay. Sure. Cool. Well, we get to kill the bank buster here, which I like. Opponent says, kill this thing? I don't even know where this thing's pointed. That's fine with me. I mean, I think we also just pick off the, um, also pick off the goblin shaman. Okay. That was a little weird. Guardian winning announcement are similar effects, but the Guardian guarantees we pick off Phyrexia next turn because it flies, so I guess we'll do it like this. And bop the Companion. And now we have a 3-3 Flyer. And we get draws off of both. More land, though. Another Companion. Okay. Go for the Throne. All right, Flyer's down. So we no longer get to freebie the Teferian. They're almost out of cards, though, and we still got draw power to go. They flip the wedding announcement. We hit land. Let's try to do a bit better. We don't do any better at all. <laughs> That's pretty painful. I mean, next turn we'll flip everyone. Uh, which is okay. But that was really bad. I mean, we hit a very large string of land there. Which has absolutely slowed us down. So, no attacks. They get to draw here. And we trigger both these guys, get pretty wide and tall. Fleet of two twos assembled. And make a copy on end step. Okay. Man, that string of land hurts. Uh, we were doing pretty well for a while, and now we've slowed down quite a bit. Bankbuster keeps them in the game. They can keep drawing. I don't even know how good flipping Teferi is at this point. 
I guess the plus two draw is pretty good. Let's go no blocks here. Guardian can blink the companion, so we want to keep the companions around. Man, is it worth it to flip the Teferi with only four loyalty? How well can we even defend that? I think let's try. I would like to keep one of the companions around to flip. Okay, let's see what they want to do here. Just make a copy. Let's see if they power up the bank buster or just trade. Okay, they eat the tokens. That's pretty weird. They leave us the companions though, which is quite nice. We want to keep those to blink anyway. A braid, one of the companions. We keep one more though. Can't say I'm too unhappy about that. You only go to one though. Still. We get to blink you. And we'll keep the lands around to cycle to Teferi eventually. Draw, give me something other than a land. Faithful Absence. And the Steel Seraph. Not bad. A draw here. Okay. Blood Token. Okay. Land. One card left in hand. What is it? Yeah, I will get rid of you. Thank you. They sack. That means they don't have mana for the Emperor now. And we hit our own Emperor as well. All this feels fine to me. Play you out for lifelink, I suppose. This version's fine. I didn't see any stick there either. So let's put lifelink here. And I think because of the stick, we can be greedy and just go like this. Against a real player, I wouldn't do that, but I didn't see any stick there at all, so I feel pretty confident. We do flip the Teferi, which is nice. And I think we'll draw here. Cool. Let's decline. Bin some lands. And uh, yeah, we'll just end here. We might plus again next turn. A lot of land, man. A lot of land. Still, I think we've escaped them. I mean, even farewell means we keep the Planeswalker, so it's not awful. Manual task for colorless. They take the draw. What are they looking for? Burn down the house. Keeps the Steel Seraph alive still. Six mana. They could still farewell. A good game, though. I think that's all. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, the string of lands there hurt, but... I mean, this deck definitely does things. Like, it's weird, but um, it's got some staying power. Well, on the play, looks perfectly fine to me. Start here. Innocence, 235. Mono red, Phoenix chick. Okay. This is the test, the boss test. I think we just farm hand this turn, though. Hit our next white source. Get rated Emperor on time. Try to Faithful Absence something a little bit more impactful than the Chick. That's all they do, though. Not good for the opponent. So they want a Lightning Strike face this turn. I think we just play out another Farmhand. Give him nothing super attractive to take. Keep thin in the deck. Um, Do you want a double block Squee? Yeah, we can double block Squee. Okay, just down to 17. Chandra instead. We can pick that off with Fateful Absence. Plus down to 16. Play with Fire, one of our 1-1s. One Not bad. Yeah, it's probably just Fateful Absence this turn. Which is a little bit sad, but that's alright. We're still not under crazy pressure. And we'll save you back to block still. Chandra part two. Okay. Well, we're going to want to deal with that now. And Feldon. Not a good target to block. Blast zone. So I think this is our invasion turn. It's really not awful. X equals three. Three. 
probably attack you down a bit. Okay. Attack the clue token. That's a good start for us. Plus again, down to 11. Sakenzin, okay. Yeah, I think we take this trade here. Still have enough to attack down Chandra if they don't have anything else. Let's see if they top deck something else. What did they get here? Lightning Strike and a backup Chandra. They picked the Lightning Strike, though. These guys have Vigilance, but they can block. Still, we'll offer it like this. Yeah, we're probably going to Emperor the Chick on the way back. Single block there. Sure. Okay. Exile top card. They don't whiff. They hit a Feldon. Feldon comes down. I think we'd like to wait until the... Um, I think we try to take three here. Try to get him to use a lightning strike. Down to seven. And the festivities, one damage everywhere. Yeah, okay, that sweeps a lot of things up. We do see the lightning strike, it does go face. Fine. And let's go ahead and Emperor. Exile the chick. More land on our side. Plus the Emperor. And attack with Vigilance. And Chandra down. Backup Emperor in hand. We can also charge the Blast Zone as needed. Could power up Mistress Foundry here. They do. We'll try to take the Feldon though. Okay. So let's let's pick you off. And uh Yeah, we'll use the Emperor on the other one. This one's going face. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Emperor Part 2. It's okay. Exile the Felden. Do we charge the Blast Zone? Play with fire, because they want the draw. Okay. Annoying, but understandable. Land and Chick, is that what it was? You get another Mistress Foundry, though. Scoop! Whew. Okay. Survive the test. Just barely, though. Didn't feel that good. On the draw with no white. It's gotta be a mulligan. This is a little bit better. Put back one of our Guardians. I mean, the double blink two turns in a row is kind of nice. Maybe put back our uh, kind of more five drop card here. Mono white. Okay, we got the smite on one. Not that it matters against them, but... Voice of the Blast, eh? Still, I think we uh, farm hand here, just hit our land drops. If we're lucky, we can smite next turn, but we'll see what happens. Overseer, they gain a life. No blocks. Emperor. Land for turn. Hold smite. Seems reasonable. Okay. Mm, I mean, I guess we could trade here, actually. They're probably not going to block, right? Do we really want to bounce you for land versus a draw? I don't think they're going to block anyway. Okay. See if we can nab the Voice of the Blessed here, or if they gain life immediately. Survey says they don't gain life immediately. We do get to pick off the Voice of the Blessed. I will take it. Three damage there. Down to 15. 
We hit the next land drop, which is pretty good for the Emperor turn. So, no attacks. And uh, pretty much telegraphing we have the Emperor, but we'll see if they run into it anyway. Gaiata, okay. Kayla's Command. Plus one counter, double strike. Two life and scry two. Interesting. One top, one bottom. All right. Well, let's see uh, who gets in there. This guy's got... Is it, is it forever? Double strike until end of turn. Okay. Probably still kill the Archangel then. And the uh, Guardian of Garapur can trade with the Overseer at least. Double strike though. Down to 11. We are a bit tight on land. Won't get to play it until next turn though. Let's take the companion draw instead. And let's plus here. Make the guardian a little bit bigger. No attacks. Blink you, get the companion draw. Okay, removal's not awful. Full price, 7-6. They give you what? Lifelink? Vigilance? I mean, we can block anything this turn. Great, so... We're looking to Faithful Absence. They probably don't run any kind of protection stuff. But I think we can do this now so we can get in for some damage this turn. So let's just... Manual tap because pick you off. And um, I think just you. We'll play the next guardian and then put a plus one counter on it. Continue to draw off the guardian. Blink the companion again. Plus here, another 4-4. Four, four. Difficult for them to chomp through. Take another draw off the companion. Okay, backup Emperor, not bad. Attack the clue token. If we invasion this turn, we can attack down to Fairy immediately with either of these Guardians. It's actually kind of nice. So they might have a Wandering Emperor of their own here. So they flash that in. Overseer eats our Garapur. Maybe we just let this one go. Thing is, they're going to flash in the Emperor next turn if we try the same trick. Just exile one of these guys anyway, so... I'd rather them flash it in now, I guess. And we'll eat you in case they have the backup Gata. No, if it is the Emperor, though. Let's do it like this. No stick at all. They just wanted to kill ours. Okay. Archangel. Full price kick. Our move. Is it Invasion of New Phyrexia time? I'm kind of thinking it is. X equals four here. I think we're leaving back the blockers this turn. I thought this came in with uh, four loyalty for some reason, but it's actually six, the Planeswalker's four. They do get their backup Gaeta, and a hopeful initiate. They scoop though, okay. Yeah, I mean the value off the Giripur blink is like, kind of fun. Provide some decent bodies to block mono red. I'm interested in trying it out more. On the play, I mean, it's definitely okay. I prefer to have the, a blinker into the Guardian, but it's all right. Mono black. Okay, the Seraph isn't bad. It's a decent blinking target at least. And survives go for the throat, so could actually be quite good this game. They get to resolve an underdog here. And do we want to take it? I mean, this is our answer to Sheldred, right? I think we leave it. I think we save Faithful Absence from we really need it. Planes for turn. Get the uh, lifelinker online. Next turn attack after the fact. Um... Uh, blanket with the Guardian. Get a 5-4 Flyer and Lifelinker. Opponent offers a trade. No blocks by us. We got bigger plans. See if they turn 3 Liliana. If not, we got some good answers. Nope, it's a Bank Buster. Okay, not feeling bad at all here. Go for the Throat's not going to cut it. Emperor's good, but I think we're just going to go for the Blink plan. So we'll attack here first. And we'll take Lifelink. Swing for 3. Go up quite a lot. Go ahead and blink you. Get back a 5-4 four, 
Lifelinker that cannot be killed with Go for the Throat. That's a pretty big issue for Mono Black. Also means next turn we could play Invasion of New Phyrexia and pop it in the same turn. Which is interesting. Archfiend of the Dross. Okay, looks like we're going to Fateful Absence you. Crew the Bankbuster. No blocks on our side. We can also offer the Steel Seraph and Emperor and still hold back Vigilance. That's not awful. Let's try it here. Vigilance for me. Singing with the 5 4. We're kind of telegraphing what we have. We go for the block anyway. Flash you in. Take the plus on first strike. So now the Archfiend goes down and we get to retain our answer to Sheldred. And keep hitting our land for turn. Next time we can pop the invasion just with the Steel Seraph alone. See if they invoke Despair us here. Life of Toshiro. Okay. They make the underdog a 5-4. Kind of interesting. They attempt to attack down the Emperor. Yeah, I mean, we could block and then exile this thing on our turn. I don't hate that. If they have um, Shoulders Edict, I'll be sad. They don't. Just Trespasser. Okay. Cool. More land for us. I think we are going to do all the things this turn. Let's see you for X equals 4. Make a whole bunch of Knights. We get to attack it down this turn. And um, yeah, it's a pretty big turn for us. I think we go ahead and exile you. I am almost sad to see you go. Vigilance is still fine here. Do no can life. Go ahead and attack down our invasion. Feels like a strong sequence right there. We get the Teferi. Do we minus and pick off the Trespasser? Cool. Cast you. Yeah, they scoop. I think we'd minus three, maybe bin the excess emperor, pick this thing off, just have a ton of blockers. Like, yeah, it's pretty sweet sequence going the steel seraph, blinking it to make it that big, and then being able to attack down the the battle. It's it's not bad. Like it feels feels okay. On the draw, we would love a two drop, especially to blink. But let's see if Surge of Salvation can stave off some mono red. White Skrelv. Not ideal. We do hit the 2-drop, though, so not that sad. Black and red sources. Ah, it's going to be Toxic here. Alright, so well, Toxic Train begins, up to 1 Toxic. The Beach. Just a farmhand here. At least blocks and trades with the Skrelf. Take the action, hit our land. Alright. Do nothing. That is a slow turn, buddy. I think we play the Steel Seraph here. What kind of removal do they have? They actually do have removal in this deck. We don't need more land, though. I think it is Steel Seraph. And if we're going to do it, let's go ahead and do it before combat. And if we're going to attack, might as well give it lifelink. Okay. One lifelink. Opponent did nothing on turn two, had no stick. They only have three drops in hand. Or they're bottlenecked on mana. So only three drops are only blue spells in hand. It's basically what we're gathering here. Do they run make disappear? Like this could be a weird. This is a weird deck that we're facing right now. We're not really sure what's happening yet. I think we start with a draw. I don't think we run out the guardian into a make disappear. There is stick. So I think they have blue counter spells. It's just kind of weird to see that with Skrelv, but maybe there's some key card they want to protect. More land for us. In case they run out the emperor. Let's just put uh, Vigilance here. Yeah. Okay. So what's going on here?
Return it to its hand. I mean, we might as well burn the counter spell here. You and permanence you control gain hexproof until end of turn. Sure. Okay. Not bad. Found a use for it. A lot of land in hand. Next turn could be a nice invasion turn. Or we can blink something. Crawling course. I mean, their deck probably can't beat a bunch of 2-2s. Two we'll go Vigilance here again. Go ahead and swing with everyone. They'll probably block someone with the course. Yeah, I mean, we'll be sad if they ha do actually have Make to Spear. I guess we don't have to play into it, really. We just play the Guardian instead. Yeah, let's just do that that way. Keep it safe. Alright, they do have the counter spell. So that's fine. Resolve, decline to pay. Okay, cool. Feeling okay we didn't run the invasion into that. We don't get our blink value, but no big deal. We'll try to resolve this next turn. Opponent with a super weird deck. Uh, let's not give him the draw of the Fateful Absence. Okay, this turn... We just need to put Vigilance here. We'll probably go with Life Link. I mean, do they run the Emperor? I just don't know. And then the next question is, do we try to play around Make to Spear just for X equals 2? I think the answer is actually yes. Alright. X equals 2. Leave mana for Make to Spear. They can sack the Scroll if they want. Unless his controller pays two. Uh, okay. Auto pay. Yeah. Intentionally played around that. <laughs> they scoop. Dude, what was their deck do? Okay, so it was obviously Azorius Toxic with like counter spells and, and blue pro proliferate stuff, but I don't know. You don't really see that deck running around a whole lot. Opponent goes first. We got Smite and Companion. It's the mirror. Start here. They get to resolve a Denic. I think we just take our companion draw and not worry about shooting this down. What is their three drop in that deck? That's pretty bad too. Do we hold make the spear just to counter like wedding announcement? I don't know. Okay. You got it, whatever it is. Only a bank buster. Famous last words. I mean, bank buster is still pretty good. I think it's a wedding announcement from our side though. Certainly got plenty of land. And we're not really blocking, so go ahead and sneak in there. Okay, opponent holds back. I think we'll try to smite them. What are they doing this turn? They probably just want to take the Bankbuster draw, maybe. So if we can blow it out with the smite, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. Let's see what they want to do first. We'll get our wedding announcement draw regardless. Cool, they take a block. We do get to try to smite this thing. They want to make to spear. We have to make to spear for the make to spear. I don't even know if I would fight over it. But it is nice that this thing will be exiled if the smite resolves. It does. And the question is, do they have a counter spell for us? They could. Let's just get the farm hand out this turn. They might just draw off the bank buster, but um If we can have the wedding announcement resolve, I'm down to keep that. Okay, they just draw. No way to know if they have the counterspell or not, but we'll go ahead and keep hitting lands. Take action. Try to set up for a nice invasion at some point. And another draw. We're doing okay. Definitely nice that they stumbled a bit with the bank buster. They draw, they have to hit land. So we're starting to think about sweepers. And they scoop. Okay, I guess just had a bad land. You know, draw, not sure. Alright, thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, a comment, and a subscribe. It helps out the channel so much. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.